Moving on. Hi, everyone. I got a wonderful question from a fourth grade student. Their question was, why are clouds white? Got me thinking, well, why is the sky even blue? Surprisingly, the answer to these two questions are quite similar. Stick with me for the next few minutes, and we're going to try to figure it out. Before we start, let's make sure that the sky is blue and the clouds are white. I'm outside on a beautiful New Hampshire day. The sky looks blue to me. The clouds look nice and white, too. I can see the treetops, and if I look at the right spot, I can see the sun. It's shining bright and producing a lot of light for us to see all these things. The light from the sun is white light. White light is made up of all of the colors of the rainbow, and this might be surprising. The really cool thing that we can do with light is separate the colors out. We see this when we look at a rainbow, or if we shine our nice white light through a prism. Can you see all the colors here? Can you see the red and the orange and the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet? Light can travel in these things called waves. This might represent some red light. How would you describe what it looks like? It might look like the top of the ocean to you. Well, that's a wave too. But these waves are nice and gentle. But let's take a look at another type of wave. Let's take a look at some blue light. Ah, so here's some blue light. How does it look similar to the red light? Well, they're both sweeping up and down, kind of like the top of the ocean, but the blue light is a little bit more squished together. And this makes all the difference. Let's now take a look at what the atmosphere looks like. These blue dots represent all the things that we find in the air. It could be oxygen, it could be ozone, it could be dust and things that pollute our air. But these things are found all over. How do you think the red light and the blue light can travel around these things? As it turns out, the red light doesn't have a problem getting around these objects. The red light just kind of sweeps back and forth, and those little pieces of dust and pollutants and oxygen and ozone, well, really doesn't make that much of a difference. The red light just simply goes around it. The blue light has a big problem, though. It can avoid all those pieces of dust and oxygen and pollutants. They bump into those things. Now, this is much the same way as if you've ever tried to get to lunch from your classroom and the hallways are really busy and packed with other kids. If you just gently sweep back and forth and back and forth, well, you might get to the cafeteria. But if you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth really, really quickly, you might run into other kids. What happens when you run into other kids? Well, you might bounce off. And that's exactly what the blue light does. The blue light hits all of those different things that are in the atmosphere, the ozone and the oxygen and the pollutants and the dust, and they bounce off. And all that bouncing blue light, that's what makes the sky blue. That's why we see it as blue. And if we look directly up at the sun, we sometimes don't see that blue. We see all the other colors too. All the yellows and the oranges and the blues and the greens. And when all those colors come together, we see nice white light. So that's why the sky might look blue, but the light that comes through our windows might look white. So what about the clouds? How is this a little bit different? Let's pretend that these blue dots represent the water droplets that make up the clouds. Do they look a little bit different than the other things that we were looking at? Well, they're still circles, but you got it. They're a lot bigger. So the blue light's gonna smack right into them. And so is the red. And so is the yellow and the orange and the green and the blues and the violets and the indigos. All the colors of the rainbows will go smacking into those water droplets and they all bounce off. And what happens when all the colors mix together? You got it, we get white. So you see, it's all the same thing. When the light travels through the atmosphere, well, most of it can just travel straight through. 
but the blue light hits all those things in the atmosphere and bounce in all those different directions, and that's why the sky looks blue. And when the light travels, well, through the clouds, all of the light gets bounced around. The obstacles are just too big. So the red and the orange and the yellow and the green, the blues, the indigos, the violets, they get bounced all over the place, and they remix. And that's why those clouds look white, because all those colors mix together. Hmm. I wonder why when it's going to be stormy, we get dark clouds. Well, maybe you can figure that one out. Does anybody know how to shut this thing off?